It is early in the morning, and I'm out with Bella and Leo. We have and been, Benjamin. yeah, and Benjamin. Benjamin. Benjamin Jaro, is that what you call him? Um, we have started no, the camera's on gonna want to see Benjamin one morning first. a week. We have started one morning a week going out to have a big kid class. We are studying this curriculum on the U.S. Constitution and Government. Okay, hey, good morning. Good morning. And um, it's just, I just thought it would be really enjoyable f to take my big kids out without any small people running around and hollering and screaming and <laughs> talk about things, big kid things together. So, big kid things. Mom, we're up there. <laughs> Sorry. Pre adult <laughs> conversation. So, we're going Come to on, our little our favorite drink. local um, coffee house, and they get to pick out anything to drink. And, and then we just sit and chat for an hour and a half and go through this book together and have all kinds of good fun. Gold in here, Benjamin. So, Leo ordered a chocolate smoothie. Chocolate covered smoothie. Chocolate covered strawberry smoothie. Do not take strawberry fruit. I think it's chocolate covered strawberry. <laughs> and you got mango. Mango. These are the student book things that we're gonna go through together. And this is the course book. And it's had lots of good conversation for us so far. <laughs> Benjamin's fascinating with the fans. You don't have fans at home. You don't get to see all that excitement. I believe you, but so each card has one side that's true and one side that's false. And they have to decide which one's true and put that one facing out. We'll see if you get a 100%. I have a brain freeze. No, no, you did it wrong. You just said that King George wrong. surrendered or like made peace, but he didn't. So he refused the all branch petition. Butter me a lot later. Not Mars. All right, so in our journal page today, Thomas Paine, what is the name of the pamphlet he wrote that influenced America? Boom. Because that's supposed to answer after she writes. Okay, write common sense in the banner by the words excerpts from. To normal life here. So one day a week, like I was saying earlier, I'm taking my teens to our local coffee shop to have a class just with them. So we are actually, I had thought about doing this for a while because, you know, being the oldest uh, in a big family with a lot of younger siblings, it's easy for me, instead of gearing things toward those oldest kids, it's easy for me to kind of make everything geared toward more of the middle, younger kids' ages. And I wanted my oldest kids to also have things that were just for them. So I got thinking about that a while ago. Mom, you mean in two years I get to do that? That's right. You're on your way to being a teen, too. No, almost two years. So almost one year. I got thinking about that, and I thought, what can I do? Because I want it to be consistent and regular. Otherwise, it just won't happen. You know how it, how it is? If you don't schedule something, it doesn't happen. So I talked it over with Jason, and we decided that one morning a week, I would take them to this little coffee shop and have a special time with them. So then it was like, okay, well, what do I do? So I thought... It would be fun to do something that would be kind of hard to talk through a lot with the younger kids because it's just older subject matter. And so this is what we're doing together. I think it says grades four through eight, but of course, like anything else with homeschooling, you can adjust it to make it more advanced or less advanced. They actually have 
a book that's kind of like a coloring activity book for younger kids you could do with this and we are kind of using it as a springboard for discussion so even though Bella's ninth grade it's just you know working well for both both of them for everybody um, it comes with this book mystery on Constitution Island which is a fun fiction book but it breaks down truths oh sleeping baby um, so this this book here goes with it and then there's also student journals um, which are these books here and um, this is what Bella and Leo and I are going through together so um, like today we talked about Thomas Paine and so you know like you saw we did activities and things that went with this so it's just been really fun because we have a chance to have discussion without toddler interruption and to talk at their level instead of breaking it down for like a more primary school elementary school kind of level so I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying that time with them and looking forward to doing that also with my other kids as they get up there in the age I also wanted to show you this I just bought this for really cheap off thrift books um, I heard about it from somebody else and it's, it's kind of relates to what I'm talking about right now so I thought I would show you this it is um, it's just a random book, an almanac of facts and information about our country. And so it's divided up by date, and then it will just go through different things from that day through history. So it will highlight one thing that they talk about. Like here they're talking about the Library of Congress um, in Washington, D.C. And then American History Parade is on the bottom half where they'll put other random facts that happen, things that happened on that date in history. Uh -huh. Jeremiah's working on his math. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, same thing here. For each stick, fill in more blocks to make the number 10. Mom, you're doing great. You don't have to color year, that dark. Three months, two weeks, and two days. Till I get it. <laughs> It's the calculation, date calculation. Silas is calculating how long until he's a teenager. What is it? One year, three months, and two days? Two weeks and two days. Two weeks and two days. Okay, well, that you keep counting months, down. Check weeks, back with me in that. In two days till my birthday. That sounds really fun. He's wanting to join us, I guess. I let them pick out one th thing to drink. I couldn't afford to do a full meal there every week. That would just, it's, yeah. That would get to be too much money. Oh, while well, I'm talking to you about coffee, I've got to show you something. We got a new flavor of this Shepherd's Crook coffee. I told you guys about this. Maybe it was Jason who told you on our Favorite Things video. But we got tried the Organic Peru. And it is so good. So this is a coffee roasting company here in Missouri that we met these people at the homesteading convention and learn their story. It's just really cool. She, I hope I get this all right, but she was ending her job and then he ended up having a job upheaval from COVID, if I'm remembering this all right. So they both decided, okay, we're just gonna take the leap and start our own company. They have children, just a really sweet family. And so they did, they're, they're beginning, they're starting out and if they actually, you can order and have it shipped to you, which this came in the mail, so. Um, Give them a give them a look because I think you will be so pleased. It's delicious coffee. I actually um, can't drink coffee regularly because the caffeine just messes with me. So about once a week is like the maximum for me with um, coffee. So when I do, I like it to be a treat of something that's really good quality and good tasting. So there you go. Check them out. Jeremiah has a question. Yes, buddy. I did a little light and a little dark. That's great. Colored a little light and a little dark. Keep it up. It has been such a strange day. Yesterday was a really just intense homeschool day. I actually did a day in the life video yesterday for my mom's membership group. I just decided to do a real long video that I don't normally do here on YouTube. Just showing our homeschool day, homesteading day. So I did that yesterday and put that in my membership group. And today has just been so strange. My kids did a lot of artwork today. Right now, most of the kids are with Jason at our neighbors, helping him with a project in Except his barn. Me. 
except for Miss Elsie, who's here doing Lydia. some math, and Lydia. Can't forget Lydia. And who else is here with us? Lydia. Lydia's making something cool. And Benjamin. And that's it. And that's and it. And that's you. it. So I've just been doing some little tidying up. Forgot to put this away. Tidying up of things from our homeschool day. Thursday is today, and it's our last official day of the week. Um, Friday we use as a catch-up day. If anybody has something that they had wanted to work on or needed to do from the week and didn't get to, so that's Fridays. Although we do have a friend coming over, so it will be minimal. Um, a lot of you have been, I've been reading the comments on my last video about um, if I should get six months worth of food stored up and supplies and if you had any ideas for me. And you do. You don't disappoint. So I've been reading through those comments, gotten some good ideas, and we found out that from, so we're going back to um, Illinois this weekend because there's a memorial service um, for Jason's uncle that passed away. A month ago we're having a special service for him and so we're going back for that and while we were there we thought that we would check out the orchard the apple orchard that's over there that's actually was in Jason's uncle's family it's their family apple orchard and they sell seconds they call them so they're not like the perfect ones but the seconds of apples for $18 a bushel and I looked it up, a bushel is like 45 pounds of apples for $18. So they would be perfect for applesauce. And in light of my idea of storing up, um, you know, six months worth of food, which a lot of you suggested six months wasn't enough. They said, I, you said that I should um, shoot for a year's worth of food and supplies. Um, so in light of that, I said to Jason, why don't we just get 10 bushel of apples and just have a crazy applesauce making day or apple pie filling or you know I don't know so he called and he said do you have 10 bushel and they said oh yeah sure so that's a lot of apples that's coming next week and then I also got on line and I found on Walmart's website they had some canning jars there so I bought six cases of jars so I'm jumping in in the deep end here guys you know I'm a nov novice canner and this is new but we're gonna do it we're gonna, we're gonna do it do I water bath these or pressure can them I guess I'll have to look it up and see or you could tell me all you professional canners so much of my knowledge I get from you guys because you've been there and you've done it and you've made the mistakes you figured things out and you're telling me and I'm grateful so that's the plan for next week, I guess, because we'll pick those up on Saturday. Uh-oh. Yeah, so it's just kind of quiet here, which is good. After a busy week, it's good to have a little bit of quiet. Benjamin, do you want to say hi to everybody? Benjamin is moving around so much. When we put him on the floor on his play mat, he rolls and scoots off his mat and scoots around looking for excitement. He will go quite a bit. 32 times Woo! 364. Save me alone counting in time. <laughs> Sorry, Elsie. Like 10 seconds worth. Of 10 seconds worth. Wow. 20 I seconds. I didn't know you were going for that. Elsie's been doing a lot of drawing today. Can I show them your palace that you're working on? Sure. I just started on it today. It's in this very big drawing book here. No, I don't think it's in I that. tucked it in here. Okay. Well, that's only one of them because I, because I big that. sized it. I'm she, still working. Right, on it. she drew it first. That was Bella. That was. I tucked things. She first drew a small sketch. This is my first one. That's my second one. And she one. made it bigger. Third one. And then she made it into that. Yeah. Very these very are my neat. Other Look at all that. This, these are my other pictures. Like this one. I'm just giving this one to Paul. I like this one. Yeah, she's gonna walk off the wall. <laughs> Oh, don't do it! It's so hard. What do you mean? I'm just standing here looking beautiful. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to distract you from your math. He's a, I was Get back to it, girl. These. I couldn't find them. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful. You painted those. Mm -hmm. Not done. Lovely. Okay, sorry for distracting you here. Let's close it back up again. 
This girl's been drawing for hours and hours. hours Hence why she's doing math hours. in the That's evening while everyone's gone. 4.37 and 20 seconds. 20. Yeah, that would Five. be why, but you know what? You're getting it done, so it doesn't matter what time it is. I did make it through almost all of the pears from my friend Jenny. Yeah. And we actually made pear sauce and then threw in frozen strawberries, let those melt and blend it all together. And it was so delicious that everybody ate it all and there's none to put away. So mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe with 450 pounds of apples, yeah. there'll be some to actually put away for another day. I don't think we could eat 450 pounds of apples. Maybe. Applesauce. If so, that's... Yeah, we should be in trouble, because that's just wrong. That's wrong. I'm going to get to dinner here so that I'm one step ahead. Jason's friend, Mike, is coming over tonight to help. We're having a car issue that we can't figure out. We're having all kinds of issues. My camera, obviously, is still not working. Um, for those of you who may have an idea for us, it's a Canon M3. I think there's another part to that. M3. Three is um, where is it? I'll show you. And it just said error. I was going to look at the picture that my friend took and it suddenly said error and went black. And now, this is it. So let's see here. EOS M3. That's the part I was missing. Okay, so now when I try to turn it on, I think I took the battery out actually. When I try to turn it on, um, it just kind of click, 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 and the little, the green light will flash, 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 click, click, but it never turns on. Nothing happens. So, help, help, I don't know what happened. It was working perfectly, wonderfully before then. So that is a problem, and then the car is having some kind of unexplainable issue, and so his friend, who is, um, like a hobby mechanic, and really good at it, he's coming over to try to help Jason figure out what's going on there. Life, you know, life. Things get fixed, things break, things get fixed, things break. So that's our evening in a nutshell. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you next week with a brand new video. Take care.